Dog comes to hospital, sees Perfusion on his owner, then looks at Doctor and realizes nasty truth. The dog barked horrifyingly. It seemed that he wanted to attack the doctor. The nurses immediately screamed, stop that dog, catch him or get him out of here. They were furious to see that they were about to be attacked by the animal. It was very strange Zeus. He was always a meek and placid puppy growing up. He was always given love and he had never done such a thing to a stranger. His little eyes were angry and he was showing his teeth, but his tail was not in an attack position and his snout was dry. Macarena, one of the daughters, took Zeus with his belt and asked her older brother for help so that they could take him to another place because it was very dangerous to have him near the paramedics. Mr. Gregorio was an extremely happy man. He was always known by all for the big smile that he always had on his face. On the last day of his work as a police officer, he asked the general to allow him to take Zeus, a one-year-old German shepherd that he had rescued and trained because he was like a son to him. The general accepted, and it's then that Mr. Gregorio very happy took him to the house. Everyone was very happy with the arrival of the great Zeus, even his wife. At first, he had the appearance of being mean and violent while the police always trained dogs, hunters, and beasts to attack. But Mr. Gregorio had trained him very well. Together with him, they went running every morning and even started a company to train dogs. Together with Zeus, he was very successful. Zeus was the model of obedient dog that everyone wanted to have. A few years later, something unexpected happened, something that would completely destroy Mr. Gregorio's family. He had climbed onto the roof of his house so he could repair some fibers on the roof. He took the tools with him and started moving up the ladder. Zeus then began to behave in a very strange way. He gave Mr. Gregorio a tug and even barked at him. He looked like he was trying to stop it. Dear, Mr. Gregorio shouted to call his wife who arrived immediately. Please bring Zeus inside. Well, he's not letting me work. I think he wants to play with me, but I'm busy. Mr. Gregorio's wife took the chain from Zeus and he's still refusing to enter, did so by force. Not even five minutes later they heard a scream and then all went out into the street. Everyone except Zeus who was locked in the house. It was Mitchell Gregorio. He had fallen from the third floor and hit his head very hard on the way down. Gregorio Gregorio, my love, his wife screamed, completely desperate for him while his children called the ambulance crying. Well, the man didn't react. When Gregorio was transferred to the hospital, they gave him news that sent everyone to the ground crying. Mr. Gregorio had fallen into a coma as a result of that terrible blow. He'd given himself on the head when he fell, and they didn't give him much chance of life. Mr. Gregorio's family, even so, decided to take care of him with faith and hope that he can react. They tried everything. This is how they took him to his house and hired a nurse so that they can take care of him. Injury and with many strings attached to his body, Mr. Gregorio breathed through a device and ingested food intravenously. Zeus, the puppy, was with him all day at the foot of his bed. They had all forgotten to take him to the park and sometimes even to feed him. There was a lot of crying and desperation to see the father of the family intubated and in a vegetative state. Money was already tight. After a long time, it collapsed. Despite all the efforts made, Gregorio did not react. Some years passed in which Mr. Gregorio simply didn't show any signs of life to any medication, he didn't react. He didn't move a finger, and he began to be a great burden for the whole family, although they didn't say so. The only thing that was and stayed by his side the whole time was Zeus, the puppy that he himself had rescued and cared for when he was just a puppy. One day, after a long time, the doctor came to check on Mr. Grio and realized that something incredible was happening. So he immediately told the family. He discovered that Gregorio, although he did not move or say a single word, was aware of his vital signs. They were still dormant. Then he told his relatives the great pain that he surely felt. He recommended to the family that it would be better for them as well as for him, that he'd be euthanized an infallible method for Mr. Gregorio to pass on to a better life. Mr. Gregorio's wife began to cry and held his hand. 
The pain was immense. She was going to see the love of her life depart, and his children were completely devastated by that news. Zeus was in a corner listening to everything, but nobody was paying attention to him. After all, he was a dog. He didn't understand anything they said. The doctor said that he couldn't give him such an injection at home and that they had to take him to the hospital for that. He commented that he would arrive the next day with his entire team of paramedics and that they would take him to the hospital to apply the antidote that family that night couldn't sleep and even Zeus because he was howling all night. The next day, some paramedics arrived in the ambulance and went in to take Mr. Gregorio away. The family had already said goodbye to him and the crying had already calmed down because they knew it was for his good and so they wouldn't feel any more pain. But the moment the paramedics entered Mr. Gregorio's room to take him away. Zeus, the big German shepherd, started barking fiercely at them and was like crazy, unleashed and showing his teeth. No paramedic dared to enter. Zeus was always a meek and placid puppy growing up. He was always given love and he'd never done such a thing to a stranger. His little eyes were angry and he was showing his teeth, but his tail was not in an attack position and his snout was dry. Macarena, one of the daughters, took Zeus with his belt and asked her older brother for help so that she could take him to another place because it was very dangerous to have him near the paramedics. This is how they entered and took him by force to the street. The paramedics, terrified with fear, calmed down a bit by not moving Zeus and carried Gregorio into the ambulance. As soon as the ambulance started moving, Zeus began to move very abruptly and he managed to free himself from Gregorio's eldest son. Then he started walking and chased the ambulance that was going to the hospital. Well, that was happening. Sonia, Gregorio's wife, remembered that Zeus had gotten the same way when Gregorio was going to go up to the third floor. Perhaps he's alerting them to something. He must hate him. But the boys didn't believe in this as they were devastated with what would happen to their father. Miss Sonia took her car and went to the hospital at full speed, believing that Zeus was warning them of something. When she arrived, she saw that Zeus entered the hospital, bypassing the security since he was very big and everyone was afraid of him. She quickly went up to the room where Gregorio was and saw how Zeus pounced on the doctor who shouted in terror, get this dog out, call the kennel and make him disappear. But as soon as Zeus threw himself to the ground, the machine that Mr. Gregorio was connected to made the sound of they all looked scared to see what was happening and suddenly they saw Gregorio move and say, let go of my dog. No, don't hurt him or you'll face me. He saved my life. They were all scared. Mr. Gregorio had reacted. His wife began to cry and she called her children to give them the news. The doctors couldn't believe it. Zeus behaved in a very good way and let himself be carried away by Sonia. A moment later, the doctors had diagnosed that Gregorio was back to life and totally cured. It was a miracle. After a while, Mr. Gregorio was discharged and the doctor did not understand what had happened. He called the press and Zeus became known worldwide. We don't know for sure why these things happen or what is essential that our pets have, but let's pay a little more attention to what they feel. They don't claim to be man's best friend for nothing. They have a highly developed sense that they sense our intentions and the intentions of strangers or visitors. Whoever knocks on your door of your house or simply passes by you, your pet takes care of you.